in St. Joe Bay, there are two pretty distinct types of marshes. There are island marshes, which you can see here behind me, and there's also mainland marshes on the backside of Cape Sandblast and then also on the uh, actual mainland. And so we've noticed some pretty uh, distinct differences between the two types over the last two summers when we've been out here. The islands obviously tend to be a little bit smaller and they also have a sharper elevational gradient. So as you walk from the water's edge up, there's a much steeper incline than there is on the mainland sites. And because of that, the plant communities change over a, a much shorter area than they do in the mainlands. On the mainland sites, you'll have this large expanse of Spartina from the water's edge and then gradually as the elevation increases, you'll get additional plant species popping in there. Whereas on these islands, very quickly you'll get other species that are more terrestrial, less tolerant of flooding that will be intermingling with the Spartina, the cord grass. There's also differences in the animal communities. The islands, because they're surrounded by water, tend to have lots of blue crabs and crown conchs kind of surrounding them. And we think as a consequence, there don't seem to be as many snails on the islands as on the mainlands, probably because their predators have greater access to these areas. In addition to fewer snails on the islands, we tend to see fewer um, kind of land-based animals. We definitely see fewer snakes on the islands than we do at our mainland sites, uh, which makes everyone pretty happy. There do, however, tend to be more birds nesting on the islands, probably because their predators don't have access. There are other differences that we're hoping to tease apart, but these are kind of just some of the general patterns that we've observed while we've been out here.